Welcome to God's Playbook with your host, Father Rico Passero. Lock is a 20, 10, 5, touchdown! Touchdown! Let's play ball. Friends, today is a great day to answer a question. The question of what do we do with religious items? How do we discard them? How do we use them? These are important questions. So let's first ask the question, why does the church advocate for us to have blessed items in our homes? What are some examples of blessed items? Well, a cross or a crucifix in our home is a blessed item. When we look upon it, we see if it's a crucifix, the corpse of Jesus on the cross, for by his blood we are saved. If it's just a cross itself, we again are reminded of the sacrifice of Jesus. There may be a religious picture of a saint, of Mary or Joseph, perhaps St. Anthony or Padre Pio, St. Faustina, the divine mercy image of Jesus, an image of the Holy Family, St. Patrick, St. Catherine, the list goes on and on. These religious images can also be blessed items that we have in our home to remind us of the call to be holy and how the family is called to model itself after the Holy Family. Then we might also have things which the church calls sacramentals. A sacramental is an item that helps us to remind us of our faith and to help us to grow in our faith. For instance, a rosary or a religious medal, a crucifix that we hang around our neck, or perhaps a bracelet. These can all be sacramentals as they help us to pray or to remind ourselves of holy things. We may have religious statues in our homes. We may use Bibles or other prayer books to help us. We have containers of holy water. These are things that are blessed by a priest, a a deacon, or a bishop to help us to experience the Holy Spirit in our regular lives. I know in many cars, certainly in mine, I have the rosary hanging from my rearview mirror. That doesn't mean I never pray the rosary. I just don't use that particular one to pray the rosary. But again, we're asking God to bless our cars our homes, to keep us safe when we travel, to keep us safe when we're home from fire, theft, other problems. So when we ask the blessing of God to come upon items, they are to help us in our relationship with God and living out a prayer life each day. But sometimes, just as items get used, sometimes they can be broken, or perhaps they can become dirty or unneeded. What's very important to know is that when an item is blessed, friends, we are not permitted to throw it in the garbage. That is very disrespectful of an item that is holy and blessed. If we're going to discard of an item that has been blessed, there are two ways for us to discard of it properly. First, we are to bury the item. The other option is that we are to burn the item. But when I say burn it, doesn't mean just fling it in some fireplace. Rather, we're to place it in a fire, and then those ashes and remains are then to be discarded in some place in the ground. And why do we do this? We return to God what is God's. So by placing it in the ground, we recognize that it is God's. But before we even think of those two things, we might even want to pass it or pay it forward. You know, sometimes when we lose a loved one. As we go through their home, we may find religious things, Bibles, books, crosses, statues. And right away, the family jumps to say, well, I don't need these. These were grandma's. What a great way of keeping grandma's legacy alive. How many times did she use those rosary beads to pray for you? Maybe you could take those now rosary beads and pray for her eternal rest and also for your family too. So I wouldn't be so quick to discard these items or donate these items. Although sometimes you might have your own favorite rosary, sort of speak, so you wish to use yours, and that's fine. But the point here, friends, is sacred items are meant to be treasured. 
They're meant to be kept in safe places and, and given a sense of dignity, not because of what it is, but rather what it represents. And so for each of us, when we have religious items that are no longer of use, a prayer card that gets ripped in half, an old book that's falling apart, a prayer book that's been used and used and used, which by the way, all prayer books should look like they're falling apart. That means we're using them right. Our Bible should be falling apart too, not pristine where the spine has not even been cracked. If we were to look at your Bible right now, friends, does it look like it's brand new? Or would God say that we've been using it a lot to enhance our relationship with him? So when we look at religious items, may we give them the dignity that are their due. Also, if you have never had your car blessed, speak to your parish priest about having your car blessed to ask God to protect you as you travel with yourself, your family, your friends, etc. Also, that will protect you from hurting anyone as well, being an attentive driver. If you have not had your home blessed, what a beautiful opportunity to ask the clergy to bless your home. Asking God to be your welcomed guest each day while you leave your home and your welcome guest upon your return. Asking God's blessing is something that is so vital and so rich in our church's history. And so how we treat religious items is also very important. When in doubt whether something has been blessed or not, give it the same dignity as if it was blessed. Perhaps find a place in the backyard to have it buried or burned in an appropriate way. Just like we use and burn our palm branches to bring ashes, so too do religious items need to receive the same dignity for they represent God and his gifts to us. For God's Playbook, I'm Father Rico. God loves you and so do I. If you like what you hear, please consider supporting us using any of our affiliate links in the description below via Buzzsprout, Ko-Fi, or GoFundMe. Thanks, and God bless.